got another one of those stupid ones for you where we will attempt something that probably shouldn't probably nobody should ever do trust me bro I'm pretty sure all my videos are like that for some odd reason you guys seem to like those videos so why not There she goes. So I can, I have two guys. What should I do with this one? I asked you guys about this tree. So about uh, this one. I know it's not a banana, but that's a foot for comparison. In the video where I was planting a bunch of trees, I asked you guys, should I yank this thing out of here? I believe every one of you who commented on that subject said yes except for one person if I recall so let's try I really want to get this finished before the you know, the weeds kind of start infesting the area I mean this stuff I think it's called the sting herb or sting weed. But around here, this stuff is on grack or something. Usually it grows like yay big. So it's like a jungle, sting jungle. Right now it's puny and weak and stuff, but soon it will kinda. Hmm. Basically, I just don't want to be here when that happens. So right now, it's probably the correct time to do this. I said that I need two things. Number one, I need a giant ass... This thing. So that's check. And number two would be some really heavy duty wire rope. Before I go and buy some proper rope, maybe I can pull this off with some... So I kind of inherited this from my grandma. Wait a minute. Grandpa. This is like Soviet rope. No idea what the load capacity is, but well, it's Soviet, so I'm guessing indestructible. Guess we'll see about that. I've used it plenty of times to pull a bunch of trees out of the forest, but I've never really tried to dose her before. I think it's fine. I mean, this is either gonna work and I'm gonna get the tree somewhere here, hopefully. Or I'm gonna break something, most likely that rope. So let's kind of just get to work. This probably will be the worst part though. Trying to get this uh, cobweb and hook it up to the tree. This is probably gonna suck. Not the first time I'm doing this, by the way, so I know it will suck. I don't think I have enough of it. Missing something. Check it out guys. My friends, all around the place. I hope to see you in hell. I will destroy you there. Why am I doing this? It seems so pointless. Oh yeah. Doing it for you guys. Because you wanted this, not me. Uh, you wanted this, guys, not me.
This thing here. Uh -huh. Like, man. Freaking mosquitoes. It's like halfway. Not great. It's just halfway. Krampa, if you're watching this video from wherever, freaking mosquitoes, they're even trying to stab my camera. Why did you leave me so little rope, bro? And clearly it's not enough. I am disappointed in you. Guess we have to use this European stuff. I'm pretty sure it's not as strong as the Soviet stuff, but uh, man, this thing is flexible. This thing is really flexible. That thing is like you're trying to... Well, it's like a steel rod. You can't really bend it. Although I don't really trust this connection. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna rip it open. Bro, did that just happen? Check it out. I've never seen that before. I've seen people strip the threads, but uh, I've never seen they break the shackle in half. That is some straight A Chinesium right there. Bunch of BS. Perhaps it will hold. Only one way to find out. Now, now we are here somewhere. Luckily, not that far. Need something more. Yeah, this thing should nicely kind of self lock on once it gets some tension. But I didn't really get far. Maybe like a meter. It's gonna be one. It's gonna be one heck of a Frankenstein rope. Some might argue that why don't you just drive the dozer into the woods? I'm pretty sure there is no equipment in Estonia that would be capable of pulling it out if it got stuck in there somewhere. So that's not happening. That's it guys. That's all the bullying harness I have that remotely has a chance of surviving this. Before we go buy that $500 rope, let's see if we can pull it off with the Frankenstein rope. I think it consists of uh, one, two, three, four, five different links of rope and some, uh, some Cow chain. I mean, Estonia has some crazy cows, so you need some proper chain for those beasts. So, before we get the dozer down here, let's go cut that tree down. Hmm. It's not that big, but uh, quite still. Quite decent.
This is this tree is under some tension, man. It's just it's already cracking. I'm not even halfway through yet. Something is gonna happen. Well, one thing's for sure. I mean, if I do die, then at least I can chill for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best idea to cut it off. I'm thinking the dip is kind of just gonna fall into this lake here and when I try to pull it, it's gonna sink into the ground. I think it's perfect right now. If I start pulling, it might just kind of slip over the stump. Relax, bro. Hang in there. 10 minutes. This did not plan that. How can it be so loose and so stuck at the same time? It makes no sense. Freaking garbage truck. Piss off, mosquitoes! All over my face, like a freaking swarm. Okay guys, let's go fire up the dozer and... I don't know. Break some rope, I guess. It's been a while. I don't recall. Gotta go watch my video. How I started this thing up.
I am 1 billion percent sure I'm just gonna break this rope. That's guaranteed. And the worst part is that I can't see anything. It's just, it's just jungle in there. It's very easy for that block to kind of get stuck somewhere. I can't see it. Rope will break. Guaranteed. Because, bro, this thing, this will not spin its tracks. Not on this soil. But, uh, whatever. Let's try. If I fail, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some really thick rope. You know, I can already see an immediate problem here. If I start pulling, the tree trunk might wedge itself against that stump. I think that's whatever. Let's just go. Uh, let's just go dry. You guys will be my eyes and ears. Not happening this. I'm not even sure if it moved. Mean well, that's one way the room moved the bar. I mean the rope broke from here. The other end. The other end is here. It's like 15 meters from the tree. I bet this thing flew pretty fast. <sighs> Good old Soviet rope. I did not even feel any bump while driving the dozer. It's just kind of... I looked back and the rope was flaccid. Did not even feel any bump. I basically have two options. Either I end this video right now and uh, re-dry this during the winter time. At least then the ground is nicely frozen solid or I could get some new rope and uh, re-dry. Man, I will financially never recover from this. Is this supposed is this supposed to protect the wire or something? wire rope. Let me just check this thing out. That is pretty rad. So actually it's been about uh, three weeks now. I've been kind of cooking it in my head if any of this is even worth it. Because this thing um, was not cheap. So we got 40 meters of 24 millimeter wire. 600 euros. So I had a discussion with the wire shop dude of what thickness should the wire be. I, I kind of explained my situation that I have a giant thing in the forest that needs to be pulled out. But, uh, but I didn't really have any useful information to give the guy. The only specific information I could give is that the tree is well, huge. That's number one. And number two, the machine that I want to use weighs about 16 tons. But that's not really enough information to kind of calculate what thickness you might need. They had their own internal discussions and basically they told me that, bro, you should hire some harborist or something and let them remove the tree. Internally, I was, you know, being polite and stuff. Mm hmm yeah, maybe, perhaps, you're right. But in my head, 
All I could uh, think was, bro, are you on crack or something? What kind of drugs are you using? I don't need any harborist. I will do everything myself. I just kind of asked, give me your best guess what wire I need. And they told me 18 millimeters should manage. But considering the fact that uh, the wire that I broke, that one was 16 millimeters. Although it was like a billion years old and probably rotten. Yet I did not want to get the 18 millimeters. I decided to go with the biggest they had in stock, 24 millimeters. So this thing guys, on paper, on paper it's minimal breaking strength. That is apparently a thing for wire rope. The minimal amount of force required to break a rope, 41 tons. Its working load limit is 6.8 tons and thanks to this I, it's rated at 5.4 tons. But that's just the working limit. Breaking point, 41 tons. We do have to, however, take off about 20% of that limit. Because uh, once they press these things in, this area becomes a weak spot for the wire rope. And this will fail before the rest of the rope will. You know, I never thought that's that's just some steel wire. It can be that sexy. That's right, Ben. That was you. Who needs to go to a gym? This is much better than a gym. You know, this is probably not that great of an idea. Clearly, this thing doesn't have enough e-power. A bit much.
almost a month now since I was here. Not good. That is not great. That's a problem. The thing has fallen down. And it took a tree with it as well. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Took that one down as well. And uh, messed this one up a bit. Resin, guys. The stuff smells like honey. Hmm. Probably... Probably shouldn't be here right now. What if this kind of falls? So... Uh, it's probably not that great of an idea to pull it that way anymore. Pretty sure the thing will just sink below the stump and they're gonna wedge itself into the ground. Or it might lift the stump up and pull it out with it. But the uh, thing is not worth it. If it goes south, then uh, all my hard work here, hard work, will be for nothing. So I'm thinking I should try to pull it that way. Somewhere Somewhere from here. Man, I hate this ticking stinker. It's all over the place. Full of ticks and stuff. I hate it. Wish I wish I had a some uh, some type of uh, a giant lawnmower. I guess you can uh, use this thing as a lawnmower as well. It works pretty well. It cuts the ground very close. This is probably the only lawnmower that uh, can cut grass beneath the ground level. Maybe I don't need a new lawnmower. Perhaps I can teach my mother how to use this one. That's what you get. Freaking sting herb. That's how I sting. I just check the difference guys and I was even trying to get the 26 millimeter but they didn't have anything bigger than 24 ah freaking mosquitoes piss off why aren't you dead yet Elon send me a flamethrower I, I need one please I, I will do a review by the way Never like tighten these because these can get really stuck. So hand tighten it and then uh, turn back slightly. Uh, yeah. Let's see what's what.
it's amazing this camera still works. What the hell? Yeah, this is much better. Rather being it here than there somewhere. Hmm. That thing did not break, so probably 18 millimeters would have been just fine. But uh, who cares? It was only like two hundred dollars more. Whatever. This thing, though. I did not feel any, well, anything really. Maybe, maybe a couple of slight bumps when I was pulling the tree out. Overall, it was like cruising, cruising on its own. It's kind of lame, actually. This is boring video. This. Maybe we can. Wait, what? I guess something happened here. But maybe we can kind of spice things up, trying to pull this stump out. Incredibly pointless and stupid, but interesting. To be honest, guys. I think it's just gonna slip over. I don't know. I'm just a guy who loves to do stupid crap. Well, the wire just broke and dupe spots. It snapped from here and another point was there. Hmm. Yeah, I could um put this wire around the stump but I don't really want to do that uh, that can actually da damage the wire so my brand new wire I don't want to mess it up attempt number two Just as I expected, freaking bark remover. That thing is a debarker. Okay, guys. Clearly, I don't have enough stump for this stump. I give up.
That was fun. But the key question was this a six hundred dollar I don't know tank tank gable worth it just to get this tree? I mean the tree is ash. It's a uh, just some plain stupid ash. If a um, tree species had levels, and let's imagine that oak is level five, then ash is probably like uh, minus um, 76 or something. But um, I think it was worth it. Clearly, I did not just buy that tank rope just to get this tree out. Obviously, I will have some other uses for it. This was just uh, a test. I passed. Getting this around though is kind of hard. I mean, the um, Yamaha there does help out quite the ways. But uh, luckily, I had an idea. So, what about uh, doing some type of some type of a rope pulley, something that I could mount at the rear end of the dozer, and I could just pull the rope out, add a stopper, and that will give me some uh, room to set the length. Maybe even add a hydraulic motor to assist pulling the rope back in. I think it's a pretty interesting idea. At least then the rope would be on the machine all the time. If I needed to pull something, then then we're good. Then we can do that. Now, some of you might suggest, why not get a winch on this thing? Well, keep in mind, this thing is a pretty good winch on its own. And if I wanted to buy a winch that is kind of meant for this machine, trust me, bro, if this thing gets stuck, it will be like three times cheaper buying a um, new dozer than uh, getting that winch. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot cheaper to just get the second dozer if this one gets stuck. So I'm not gonna go with the winch setup, definitely not. But a rope drum would be useful. As for now though, I think we can wrap this up. Got that tree out, didn't break that many things. And now I have a tank rope. Ciao.